we know how to determine the parametric equation of a line and the equation of a line. We also know how to determine a parametric equation of a plane. Can we also determine the equation of a plane? Yes, we can, as you will learn in this video. Here we have a picture of our plane. We have a vector r0, which goes from the origin to any point in the plane. r0 is a given. The blue vector r is going from the origin to any point, to an arbitrary point in the plane. So it's drawn over here, but of course it could also be drawn over there, over there, whatever, to any point in the plane. Then the vector w is connecting r0 and r. And the vector n is the norm of the plane. It's the vector which is orthogonal on the plane. It doesn't matter where you place it, because wherever you are in the plane, the normal is always pointing in the same direction. In this case, I drew it right on top of r, but that's not needed. You could place it somewhere else. So that's about the picture. And now we can determine the equation of a plane. We have all information needed. It is all in this one picture. How? Well, let us summarize the information a bit. R0 plus W, so R0 plus W equals R. So W equals R minus R0. Furthermore, we know that the normal N is orthogonal to W wherever your R is. It's always orthogonal because W is in the plane. So the inner product will zero. So if we combine those two, we see that the inner product of w and n, so with r minus r zero inner product with n, has to be equal to zero for all vectors r, so for all points in the plane, this inner product over here has to be zero. And that will determine the equation of our plane. Because if we write down, if we write out r equals x, y, z, where x, y, and z are arbitrary, fixed point r zero, I you need normal, ABC, so you need to know these two. Then you can write down the inner product over here, R minus R zero, inner product ABC has to be equal to zero. Work out the brackets, we get A times X minus X zero over here, plus B times Y minus Y zero over there, plus C times Z minus Z zero over there equals zero. And here we have our equation of the plane. Looks kind of scary, right? Well, don't be afraid, because you know A, B, and C, and X0, Y0, Z0, and an explicit example, as we see over here. If you take R0, 0, 1, 0, this one over here, and in this uh, example Rn, we take 1, 1, 1, what do we get as an equation for our plane? Well, we get A, 1, times X minus X0, which happens to be 0, plus B, 1, times y minus y0 equals 1, plus c1 times z minus z0 equals 0. And if you look, we get a x plus y minus 1 plus z equals 0, so x plus y plus z minus 1 equals 0, or x plus y plus z equals 1. And then we have our normal equation of our plane. So it's hard to find that one. Well, if you have your r0 and if you have your uh, normal vector n, you can write down the equation for a plane straightforwardly, directly from this equation over here. So, no, also this one is not hard at all.